100 years ago today, the cornerstone was laid at the Detroit Yacht Club. Inside was a time capsule, and it has stayed shut until now. On the club's 100th birthday, they decided to open it up and see what was inside. Our Tim Pamplin was there for the big moment. It's one of Detroit's most historic buildings on Belle Isle, the Detroit Yacht Club, dating back over 100 and 30 years. Had homes throughout the years at different places along the island, but for the last 100 years, it sat right here. And today marks 100 years of the laying of the cornerstone. The cornerstone will be removed exactly 100 years to the hour. That's current Commodore McGill as they prepare to remove the cornerstone. And beneath that is the time capsule. As we zoom in here, you see the box set in situ for exactly 100 years. Time to bring in the heavy equipment. Move the stone away and take the time capsule upstairs into the ballroom to be opened. Since 1868, the club has been here and uh, we have uh, many, many members uh, that have been uh, foundational in the club. Um, dignitaries from the auto industry, the shipping industry, and uh, we're really looking forward to leaving a legacy here for people for the next 100 years. And talking of legacy, there's two of the younger members of the Detroit Yacht Club. So back inside, they uh, finally got the right. time capsule opened up. There's a flag. Let's take a look at some of the other items in there. There's some blueprints of the old club, some magazines, a copy of the Detroit News and Free Press from back in the day. History really is all around us. That is the scene at the Detroit Yacht Club this afternoon on Belle Isle. Tim Pamplin, Local 4. Oh, old newspapers. This is history. My mom used to do that. She'd save all the big newspapers yeah. from big, big events. All those yeah. relics.